one of the reasons cigarettes are so deadly is because of the way they are designed. They're deliberately designed to deliver nicotine to the brain as fast as possible. So for example, tobacco man manufacturers, they're legally allowed to add around an extra 600 extra ingredients to the dried up chopped tobacco leaves. And they do that to make the tobacco to taste more palatable, to taste nicer because tobacco without all these extra additives tastes quite foul. Um, they add things that make the tobacco smoke more addictive. But the harm comes from is when you set fire to that cigarette stick, because then what happens, those 600 extra ingredients uh, with the dried up chopped tobacco leaves, they turn into a cocktail of about 4,000 different chemicals. So every puff on a cigarette, you're, you're having a dose of about 4,000 different chemicals. One of those uh, chemicals is nicotine. And that's the most, I guess, well-known constituent of tobacco smoke that people, you know, people who smoke and don't smoke know about. But it's probably the ingredient that um, where people misunderstand it. Nicotine gets a bit of a bad rap because it's often confused with tobacco smoke. And whereas it's the most kind of well-known constituent in tobacco smoke. It's not the nicotine that is causing a lot of the harm. So nicotine doesn't cause cancer, for example. It uh, doesn't cause respiratory problems like emphysema. Um, what nicotine does when it's uncoupled from tobacco smoke, it temporarily helps your concentration and your attention. Um, so it can have some positive effects, providing it's not delivered in tobacco smoke. Hello, I'm Debbie Robson. I'm a senior lecturer in tobacco harm reduction in the Nicotine Research Group, which is in the Addictions Department at King's College London. The smoking is so uniquely dangerous. Um, there, there would never be a situation where it would be safer to smoke than, say, vape. There's an awful lot of misperceptions about, about vaping. So vaping is very different uh, to smoking. So you've got, just in terms of what's in vapes compared to what's in, 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 in tobacco smoke. So the, there's no tobacco uh, in vapes. Not all vapes contain nicotine. You can vape without nicotine. What you've got kind of with the, the e-liquid is you've got the, the bulk of that e-liquid is, is, is a carrier solution. Uh, so propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, and then you add nicotine and flavours to that. Uh, but the biggest difference is there's no burning, there's no combustion with uh, vapes as there are with uh, tobacco cigarettes. And it's, it's that lack of combustion, but the lack of all the other additives um, that then um, make them substantially less harmful than smoking. So vaping is much less harmful for, for people who smoke and, and health policy in this country um, supports the use of vaping products to help people stop smoking. But, you know, if you, if you inhale anything uh, into your, to your lungs, it's going to kind of come with some risks or uh, health policy also in this country uh, recommends that if you've never smoked, it's not a good idea to start vaping. So if you smoke and, and you want to get help uh, with stop smoking, then every borough in this country has a stop smoking service. Uh, and it's free. You can self-refer. You can, you can contact your local stop smoking service. And what they'll do is they'll provide you with some behavioural support. And they'll also provide you with nicotine replacement therapy. Or increasingly what we see in is stop smoking services are also providing free e-cigarettes to people who want to switch from smoking to vaping. The government announced a swap to stop scheme whereby uh, they want in to fund uh, providing a million vaping products to people who smoke to help them uh, stop smoking and you can access vaping products through your local stop smoking service. So we'll see that form of treatment uh, 
uh, much more widely available in this country. Because we know from lots of different types of research studies that vaping is an effective smoking cessation aid for people uh, who want to stop smoking. And it's more effective than traditional medicines like nicotine replacement therapy, like patches and gums and mouth sprays. So although the, the smoking rates are really high amongst people with mental health problems, it's absolutely possible and achievable to stop smoking. And it's one of the best things that you will ever do for your physical health and mental health. Thank you.